Okay, Steve, you're on. Thanks, Deb. And I feel like I'm bleached out here for some reason, but maybe it's just my monitor. Anyway, um, thank you, Deb, for giving me some time. You know, I appreciate it as I try and speak with every group I can in Mansfield. In fact, tomorrow night I'm speaking, uh, I'm meeting with the Road to Diversity and Understanding group, which includes many of, of you and, and many have been my friends for years. So to give you a little bit of a background about me, my wife and I have been in town for going on 20 years now. It's like 20 years later this, this year. We have two kids, one in second, one in fifth grade. And although I don't look at my family this way because they're my family, some people tell me that we have a mixed race family. Okay, so we do. But so these days we're especially attentive to that given some of the recent discussions in town, but I want to talk about that more a little bit later. I've been serving the town now for about 10 years. And for the first four years, it was on the finance committee. And then the, for the last uh, two terms on the select board. And you may remember me as that remaining FinCom member who was left holding the calculator, if you will, after the mass resignation of six members back in 2012. But again, thank you for allowing me to be here. I'm indeed an unregistered voter. I've always been, except for that time when you used to be like, if you wanted to vote in the Democrat uh, primary, they made you you know, they made you a Democrat after you, after you voted in the primary. Um, so I've always been unregistered. It's just kind of who I am um, and historically have been. And, and like you, I have friends from across the political spectrum as well, including many of, the, many of you on this call right now. And I know this is not typical of your meeting, so I, I really, really do appreciate the time. So why am I running again for select board? Well, because in the next few years, we're going to, to see a lot of turnover in our boards and our committees. Um, through just natural attrition and retirements. And I feel we need some stability in town hall and, and people who know the challenges we expect to face and are willing to tackle them. And two of, the, two of those challenges we face are our budget and our school infrastructure needs. So we'll need to significantly remodel or rebuild some of our school facilities in the next five to 10 years. And this is not going to be financially easy. And you know, once those COVID relief funds end, our budgets will also be difficult to manage. So. Um, really trying to, to remain on the board so that um, there's some stability over the next two, three, or four years. So I'll keep my comments short and just leave you with a couple final thoughts here. Um, first, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled to see Vivian running for school committee. Um, not simply because of the diversity she brings, but because I've gotten to know her very well over the past few years and believe she will be a very strong addition to the school committee. So um, kudos to Vivian. Uh, for, for running. And second, I wanna close on an issue that I know troubles some of you and it troubles me as well. Um, and I alluded to it earlier and I have a different take on it. So maybe this will help. As a former high school teacher myself, I wouldn't be thrilled. I wouldn't be thrilled at all. I'd be really annoyed to have a rule or regulation hanging over my head, such as the proposed divisive concepts item on the town meeting warrant. And as a teacher, the only people I would be accountable to are my peers, fellow teachers, the administration, of course, my students and their parents or guardians. And, and here in Mansfield, our teachers teach understanding and respect every last day of the year. Um, and and it, for, it, it's a core value in our schools and it's expected to be in our schools. So, you know, this is also supported by the work of our administration, it's supported by our school committee. So that the proposed article, whether or not it's out of order, it, it, that doesn't matter, I believe is unnecessary and in my opinion, would be a personal insult if I were teaching at my Mansfield High right now. <clears throat> I told you to be brief, but I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate your support of our town. I know many of you are active in charitable um, endeavors here in town, and I appreciate that as well. I'm happy to take any any brief questions. Okay, questions for Steve? You try to use your, I can't see everybody at once because there's only 25 people on my screen. So use the little hand raising thingy if you can. You know, the yellow. You know how to push that. Oh. Well, I have a question then, Steve. Sure. Uh, if you, so if you're against the divisive concepts issue, what are you doing to, to stop it from, you know, are you, will you be getting up and speaking against it? I, well, I, I hope to be able to do so as a select board uh, member, if we do discuss it, if we don't, I will definitely get up during um, the meeting on May 19th. Uh, because, you know, I, I do think as a school teacher, you know, a former school teacher, I don't do it anymore, but I used to. and. You know, I, I really think there's that understanding and respect that we're supposed to model as teachers and teach as well in the class. And no rule hanging over my head is going to tell me what I can and cannot do. So I, 
you know, for me, from a teacher perspective, that's what I was coming from. Um, you know, it, that's what our schools are all about, inclusiveness. And to do something like this just rubs me the wrong way, not just because, you know, morally, but professionally, professionally rubs me the wrong way. Okay. So and that should be no surprise to any of you. I think you know, know me, you know who I am. I mean, um, like I said before, this is something we've talked about as a family, definitely in our household and something we guard substantially. You know, we know that, um, you know, not everyone feels the same way. And I, I, we guard our sons as much as we possibly can. Okay, thank you. Um, so any questions for Steve, Annette? And, okay, first Annette, then Sally. Yes, um, Steve, uh, you just made a statement that you believe in uh, stability in the, um, in the uh, selectmen, the selectmen's work. About a year ago, you made a comment that the whole board should be, um, should step down, should be recalled. Um, and that was relating to um, the way the board was running its business or some, some such thing. And what I'd like to know is how you now feel about the question that's going to come up at town meeting about um, uh, recalling selectmen oh, oh, uh, yes. by who knows what. It's a recalling appointed people, I believe. Appointed not people, not, correct. Not, not elected people, yeah. No, that's a good question. Uh, thank you for it. Um, you know, that seems yeah. very much, you know, we did talk about it a bit at uh, the select board meeting, so I think I'm okay to express the thoughts I, I expressed then. Um, you know, I'm of the mind that if a citizen puts a petition out there, we ought to hear it. Ought to hear it. You know, I mean, it, it just makes sense and it's respectful to them as well, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. And a lot of them, I agree, have been pretty bad over the years. Um, and this one is another one. You know, it, it does seem like this belongs to, to be in, a, in an official charter capacity uh, review rather than kind of a side a sidestep, if you will. So um, I'm not sure how it's going to pan out, whether it'll be pulled, whether it'll be discussed. But, you know, that's something that the will of the town should speak to, much in the same way the will of the town spoke to the removing the requirement to uh, to have the town manager live in town. That was done by vote, by full vote um, as well. So I think that makes a lot more sense. Okay, so thank thanks you. for the question. Sally? Yes, yeah, Steve, um, I'm looking at an article that you wrote when you first ran. Um, it was like, Steve Schoenfeld says Mansfield is ready for a good future. And this was May 4th, 2016. And you talk about establishing collaborative government, um, respect for each other and so on. But honestly, what I've seen in social media and what I saw on March 16th when I was at the select board meeting was not co respectful collaborative governance. And um, I was frankly embarrassed. And then I was appalled that you were emboldened by it. And then you did these posts about transparency and da, 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 da. And it was just really, we should, we're, Mansfield is better than this and we need positive campaigning. Can you please speak to this? Sure, well, I appreciate your opinion, Sally. Um, I don't remember what I said six years ago, but I'm, I'm still live by that, that we need to be working collaboratively. And many times over the years I have, I mean, I, I could point to, um, a very key prominent aspect of, of some collaboration that we did just four years ago, where we found a way to save the town over $2 million in health insurance um, expenses. And that included collaboration with the school committee, the finance committee and the town finance directors. It was really the way it ought to be going forward. Um, you know, when it comes to matters of collaboration, I believe the select board needs to do their job. And, and I think we do need to do our job in some of these respects. And sometimes when it doesn't happen, it's, it's time to speak up. So no, I don't take any joy in any of that, not at all. I wish we did a little stronger, um, more conscious effort on some of the things that were required by charter to do. But nevertheless, um, I think, you know, like I said, six years ago, we're moving in a positive direction. Uh, we've had some very good wins over those six years, and it's time to keep that that direction moving. Yes, there's bumps along the way. Yes, there are things that I wish, um, you know, I ought to take back sometime. I'm not taking that back, though. 
But I appreciate your question and I hope we get to discuss it as a board at some point in the future. Thank you. Okay, any other questions for Steve? Yeah, Steve, can I just clarify? So you just said you're not taking that back. What is it you're not taking back? I mean, I, I make comments over time. I'd ask questions over time and I simply stand by, by my words. So I always stand by my words. So to clarify, when you said none of the members of the select board should be reelected, do you oh, stand by that? I think at the time, a year ago, I didn't feel like I did my job, I must honestly say. And so that's why I wrote the article, because I personally thought there were some components of our position that we had should should have focused on more. And, you know, they are editorials in some ways. And I, I included myself in that group. I wasn't calling out everyone else. I included myself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So Any other questions for Steve? Okay, go well, ahead. I appreciate, I appreciate you again all. Go ahead. Thank you all. I wish you all well. Please feel free to reach out to me as you as you see fit. I think I've taken my time. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. I think David still had a question. David, David, were you still talking? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call no, you. No, it's all right. Sorry. I, never I, I mean, <laughs> Steve, it just sounded like an anti-endorsement for yourself. <laughs> Hold on. Like I said, this was a year ago, and this was a year ago. Yeah. So things change. Well, if you don't withdraw it, though, then it's still in force. <laughs> it's in a letter, letter to the editor a year ago. It's not in force today. Thank you. OK. Diana, where are you? I saw you earlier. I'm right here. There you are. There you are. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. And I really appreciate everyone having me today. Um, you know, I'm honored to have the time to speak with you. I am Diana Bren. Um, and, and this is my first live uh, appearance uh, as a select board candidate. So I'm very excited and I did prepare something to talk to you. So I may read a little bit, but at the same time, I did my research and, uh, and I'm ready. Um, so I do wanna address something that Steve also addressed and it's the article regarding um, the, dis the divisive uh, concepts article. And I'm a firm no and a thousand times no. I do not agree with it. I do not like it and I will state that very openly. And so that is my position on that going forward. Um, my husband and I moved here 13 years ago. Um, we now have two children at the Robinson Elementary School. Um, they keep us busy and going and always laughing. Um, and we adopted a dog back in 2020. Her name is Nala. And we absolutely love living in this community. We have a wonderful community here in Mansfield. But a good community needs support. I want to support this community by giving back. This is a value instilled in me by my parents. My father was a past FinCom committee member and a select board member in Plainville. Having seen him serve in local government plays a large role in why I myself am running for select board here in Mansfield. I have brought forward these principles my parents raised me with and over the years have been involved in several volunteer opportunities, including past president twice for the Mansfield Women of Today, belonging to my select board, I'm uh, sorry, being belong to the planning board now, as well as um, being part of my uh, alma mater alumni so association. My campaign has three primary focuses, community, collaboration, and communication. I consider these to be foundational in all aspects of my life, and they will be crucial for the work I do if elected to the Mansfield Select Board. How we do achieve the interconnection of community collaboration and communication one way is to further support the implementation of the master plan. I am reasonable yet assertive. I will compliment the board by bringing a quality and skill none of the other candidates have, an understanding of process and how to use process to make sound choice and get things done. I'm an experienced Six Sigma black belt, not with karate, but what is Six Sigma? It's a method and set of techniques and tools used for organizational process improvement. It's about embracing an attitude of focus of strategic improvements and adaptability. It's something that's not done in silo, but as a team, because collaboration is key. If change is wanted, I'm the actual change. I bring new skill sets, new perspective, and actual experience working together to achieve goals. If stability is wanted, I have the skills and experience to complement and enhance the range of experience already on the board. I review and analyze in a timely and effective manner on how to respond in a calm, professional manner. Offering ideas and suggestions 
I'm not one to overreact or complicate scenarios. Steady progress should be a goal, powered by a strategic vision as represented in our master plan. I'm committed to making sure the school committee has people on it to have sound mind judgment, a quality I possess as well. I did hear that Vivian is having a meet and greet on Saturday at Nadia's from 11 to one. I encourage you all to go. I am unable to attend as I'll be out of town celebrating Passover right before we celebrate Easter. Um, I'm committed to both Vivian and Lynn Kavicki. They have my full support for school committee. As a community, I want your help. I want you to help and collaborate and communicate with me. Send me your ideas on how we can do better together as a Mansfield community. Feel free to follow me on Facebook at Diana Bren for Mansfield Select Board. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my message. Please support my endeavor to continue my commitment to Mansfield and please vote for me on May 10th. Thank you, Diana. It's really nice to have a young person like you stepping up and wanting to be on the select board. I think that's great. Um, do we have questions for Diana? Looking for questions. No questions? Oh, so thank you. Lisa, your hand's up. I can see you. Thank you for the little yellow hand. Yep, <laughs> it's trying. Um, so I just wanted to know if people are interested in helping your campaign, are there certain things that we can do or that you would find particularly helpful? Absolutely. Um, I love hearing ideas from people. I love hearing what they think about my campaign. Um, if you would like a sign or if you'd like to help um, hold a sign, should we decide to go down to the center of town? Um, anything, any questions? I think questions are great. I want to be the best candidate possible and understanding the needs of all of Mansfield is very important to me. Um, I'm, I'm here to listen and I think that would help me as well. Do you have signs available yet? Yes, I have signs available if anyone would like any. All right, great. Um, someone says, how can we get signs? Someone said it, then Barbara asked in the chat. Oh, um, thank you. So um, I can leave my information with whomever is sending out meeting notes. If you would like me to, I'm happy to present. Well, I have your email address if you'd like, if you. Um... Absolutely. It's open to everybody. Okay. Maybe you should put it again in the chat. Sure. You put, you put your email again in the chat so people can contact you directly. That's probably the easiest. I can do that. Yeah. I'll do that after all the questions are up so that I don't. Okay. Um, I Sally, a... question? Yeah. Okay, yes. Well, Diana, it's so great of you to run. I remember talking with you um, when I had that brief but spectacular time being chair of the Cultural Council. So now you've been a member of the planning board. How has that been? What do you see our challenges in the next while? So a member of the planning board has been very um, enlightening. It's been, you know, it, I went from the master plan as a, uh, as a citizen at large right over to the planning board. Um, it's really interesting to see the town working together to identify how best um, our bylaws around the planning board can partner with the rest of the town. Um, and so that's been really helpful. Um, and so, you know, I wanna use some of that collaboration that we use, you know, we've got really good meetings, we've got great opportunity. Um, and I wanna bring that forward to the select board. And while I love planning board and if, you know, and, and I, want to be there. I really want to be part of that strategic process for Mansfield. I have that strategic mindset. I love what I do. I love, you know, collaboration and facilitation and just feel like we can really, you know, bring us forward even more. Thank you. Great. Um, Jean? Yeah. Hi, Diana. Um, I, I was wondering, as somebody who's who's come into the town relatively recently, you, you, you have a new perspective on things, um, what do you see as the as the biggest challenge for the select board coming up? That that's a great question. So one of the challenges is to you know when we want to adopt the master plan, there's a great foundation in there. What we need to do is identify how strategically to think, not over the next one, two, three years, but the next decade. Um, funds don't come out of nowhere, so we have to figure out. What do we need to do over the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years to make Mansfield successful? And if we can set the stage and set, you know, a long-term objectives, we will get there. And I think that is the biggest challenge is to say, what is coming down the pipeline and how can we support that 
being proactive versus reactive. Thank you. Great. All right, anybody else? Annette? Um, I have to say that uh, not to denigrate our wonderful selectmen that we already have, but it's wonderful to see a female running for the position and one who seems to be so well qualified. Um, love to see that. And, uh, and I thank you for running and I look forward to your campaign and to all the information I can get about you. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Um, Sharon, did you have your hand up? Um, I did. Um, first of all, I've had the, um, the privilege of serving, of, having, of serving with Diana on the uh, planning board. And I think she's brought some, uh, some uh, good ideas to the committee. And um, I, I'm just wondering, overall, uh, the town of Mansfield, like most other towns, is struggling with, with housing and trying to maintain uh, reasonable housing and affordable housing. I think they're two different things, and we need both in order to keep uh, uh, young families here, uh, as well as uh, uh, families who are on the other side of that. Um, and I'm wondering, um, with your experience on the planning board and the master plan, what your thoughts are around that? Yeah, it is very important. Um, you know, I myself look at housing market right now, and I wonder myself, you know, would I be in Mansfield today? Um, and that's scary because I love Mansfield. Um, I think we need look to look at how we can look at different zoning laws in terms of planning board. We have to look at what we want to do to bring forward, partner with those that may be building housing, partner with those that are unable to get the housing that they want and see what ideas that they have. We need to make housing accessible and affordable. Um, and to do so, we need to work collaboratively across Mansfield and the various boards and departments to make that happen. Um, and I think that making that very apparent in the master plan shows that Mansfield is dedicated to that and that we need the right people on the board to bring that forward. Nice, thank you. Um, any other questions? Um, Sally, again? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, this is an important election, so if no one's gonna raise their hand, I will. So mm -hmm. diversity within the town and the school, um, that's something that has been discussed as a need and. I'm not sure where we are in that, but if you could also talk about your approach. So diversity is important. Um, you know, my, my family, um, you know, my husband's Jewish and I'm Catholic. So, you know, we have to bring things together. Uh, diversity in our town just needs to be there. It needs to be in the boards, it needs to be in the school. It needs to be taught. It needs to be, you know, an education. We need to celebrate it as a town. Um, I know, you know, a couple of years ago, there was an opportunity to go down and paint some squares. Um, you know, the town hall, and I think that's so important. And I think we need to, you know, exemplify that and be a role model uh, town for that. Look at what other towns are doing, see how they're engaging the community. And I think that's very important. And we should, you know, we should grow that and we should become, you know, proud of who we are and where we are and, and bring that diversity into that. Excellent, thank you. Okay, anyone else? Next. If not, we have our own Mike Trowbridge to listen to next. <laughs> Anyone, anybody else? Um, bearing in mind that I can only see 25 of you at a time. Um, okay, thank you, Diana, so much. And I'm sure people will be in touch with you about science. Um, next, Mike Trowbridge. Good evening, thanks for having me tonight. <laughs> and you know, thanks to Diana for actually running a, a positive campaign. It's, very much appreciated, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I, I think Frank will tell you, this is the thing that I hate doing the most, trying to tout my own horn, talk about myself. Um, I've tried to run based on what I've done in the town with my votes and, and what I've done in my you know many years. For those who don't know me, I'm Michael Trowbridge. I'm competing, um, completing my last second term on the select board. Um, Prior to that, I served seven terms on the school committee. I'm married to Maureen, my wife of 36 years, and I've had four children, all of whom were products of the Mansfield schools. 
I worked hard over the past 27 years as part of a team to make our towns and schools a desired place to move and to raise up our families. As a team, we've worked hard to update our infrastructure and our schools, the new DPW, public safety building, tremendous improvements in the downtown area, an area that I personally have never seen it look as good as it does. And I've been around town for you know close to four decades. Um, another area um, that never looks so good um, is the, the playgrounds and the parks. We're starting to put money into the playgrounds and parks, Plymouth Street, um, and the little parklets around town, uh, Rumford Avenue area around Fulton Pond. Now, we've worked diligently to collaborate um, with surrounding towns for regional dispatch. Um, that's an envy of many towns now. In addition to the regional dis sewer district, we have regional dispatch that we uh, collaborated with. We've um, you know, we created several positions with uh, area towns, sharing employees, which will produce less impact on the budget and better services to the towns. You know, we've re re realized that you know, Mansfield is not their own island. Our surrounding towns are, are part of where we are and how we are. Um, one focus of the select board currently is to design and fund the senior community center rec area. I'm proud to say that I was the first to float the idea of that becoming um, the senior community center. You know, has every decision that's been made by the select board been absolutely a perfect decision? I can tell you honestly, no, it's not been. Our decisions are commonly guided by, you know, existing laws and the advice of our council. You know, some of, you know, some of the decisions that you're made that are, are being made is to try to limit the town's liability. You know, maybe we don't always talk about things, but there's usually a reason why we don't talk about certain things. We're, we're advised not to talk about them. Our uh, deci decisions ever made out of, you know, self-interest, politics, or to not have the town's people know? Absolutely not. You know, I speak for a super majority of the board when I say our decisions are made in what we think is best for the town of Mansfield. Could we do better? Yes. Will we do better? I believe we will. I feel like we're always learning. 27 years in and I'm still learning. You know, I use the words collaborate and team a lot. You know, that's due to the fact that we are a team. Not one person makes decisions. A majority vote of the board is what determines. We've had one member who is seeking re-election this year. This person seems to always be the center of self-created drama, especially during election time. An individual who loves to use the word transparency and claim he's not political, yet seems to be the least transparent and the most political of any of our board members. This same person does not know what the word collaborate means as he's continually shown in his way or not at all. Can four out of five, if you include George Dentino, always be in the run in the wrong and one member always right? You know, I've dealt with a lot of board members over 27 years of my service. I may not have always agreed with my fellow board members, but we've always been respectful. I'll tell you a story about Steve Greenberg, who was on the school committee with me. After nine years, I presented him with a plaque when he was leaving. And after the meeting, he pulled me aside and he said, Mike, you and I were always on the opposite end of a vote, but you were always respectful and you always listened to me. And for that, I'll ever be grateful. And that made me feel pretty good after, you know, hearing that from Steve. Because I, I do try to listen. I try to be respectful. Um, it's been very difficult for me over these last few years to not fight back, but I've bitten my tongue many times. I've never seen a fellow board member write a post in a letter to the editor suggesting a recall of an entire board and then expect collaboration. That's someone who doesn't know the words co collaborative, teamwork, and respect. I humbly ask that you support my candidacy and send Mr. Schoenfeld a message that we've had enough hostility, false and misleading statements, and Trump-like behavior. The past years nationally have been enough and we have the chance to take a step in the positive direction by stopping it right here in our town of Mansfield. I appreciate your support. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer any question you would ask. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Um, questions for Mike? 
Questions for Mike? I mean, I know he's pretty accessible to everybody, but um, anybody have any questions? <laughs> Sally? But you can wait for somebody else if you'd like. No, I'm going to, uh, Mike, thank you so much for running again. I'm definitely supporting you. I have a couple of things that I remember during uh, the time of your being chair and so on. A lot of people don't know this, but when I asked you across the hall at, at the high school, hey, Mike, we want to do a flag raising ceremony. Can we do it? And without hesitation, no problem. Just talk to Kevin. Done. It was it was wonderful that four out of five of the select board members attended our first uh, Mansfield Pride in 2019. I still remember when you had your warrant for gender neutral language, the first one around the area, and people were like, "Wow, what in Mansfield?" You just stood by, you know, your convictions, and we voted for it. Were that was amazing, wonderful, and then I and also my third and last, the Xfinity Center traffic um, snarls and so on. You were, I believe, you were a chair at the time, and you handled that with expediency, working with the traffic apps companies, residents, and police to quickly resolve those issues. So I, I like your pragmatic, get efficient work. Um, approach, and um, I'm glad to support you for select board. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. I appreciate the support. Mike, are your are your signs in? No, I have my signs. I'm I'm waiting till next week to start putting them out. Okay. So anybody who wants to sign, contact Mike. Um, okay, Frank, and then Jean. Mm -hmm. Mike, I'm wondering if uh, you were happy to hear that we need uh, stability on, on the board. Um, you're, you're pretty stable in, in my experience, um, uh, but I think a mix of stability and, and some uh, you know, diversity and fresh ideas uh, would be good. Uh, and, and I just want to echo your uh, point about collaboration. Uh, it's a hard word to spell. It's a harder word to, to actually put in effect. And I think we try to do it. You know, um, I look at myself because I always like to bring things back to me. But anyway, I look at myself and I, I think of all the people I've served with on the various boards over the years, um, you know, I didn't always agree with them all the time. I remember writing letters to Jess Aptowitz 10 years ago saying he was foolish with the way he was handling the budget. We got on the board, we worked together. Um, you know, working together is important and I think we do a good job with that. Uh, I think we take feedback from people who, um, you know, who, uh, who, we take feedback from people, we try to listen. Uh, and as you said, we can always improve. And that's one thing to, to wrap this up and, and actually have it make some sense. Uh, you know, when I first got on the finance committee in uh, back in 1998 or so, and you were on the school committee, I think we, butt head, we butted heads quite a few times. Uh, mm -hmm. But when I ran for school committee in 2005, um, you actually endorsed me and encouraged me to, to run because it takes uh, different personalities uh, to, to run the town, but it really takes um, trying to be, a you know, we all have egos, but trying to have a, a little bit of selflessness, a little bit of humility and the, and, and the ability to recognize that you're part of a whole, you're not the whole. Um, so that was a good question, yeah? Um. Yes, thank you, Frank, for, for Thanks. that. Okay, Jean and then Julie. Um, I, I just raised my hand because when you said, did he have signs, I, I want one, Mike, and I'm, I'm supporting you. <laughs> oh, very nice. I okay. appreciate it. Julie, Julie had her hand up. Yeah, I, if my question's for, I mean, Mike, but anyone, I know the fourth candidate had put out that he wanted to have a debate. Are you guys gonna have a debate? Uh, actually, oh. I, I'd love to answer that. Um, <laughs> Uh, immediately when that was was uh, put out on social media, I reached out to Donna Whitehead to see if we could arrange for a debate. Um, Donna is leaving on vacation for two weeks and she's unable to do it. Um, there was two names that were thrown out, um, Bill Gouvet and uh, Robert Sake as well. Um, I personally don't believe so Mr. Sake would be um, a person that I would be interested in doing a debate with. <laughs> He strongly supported um, Walter Wilk in the last campaign. Um, we're in talks right now. We're going to hopefully settle this um, next Thursday. There'll be a discussion with Diana. Um, Steve and Walter will try to lay some ground rules. Um, 
I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, in, in the past, I've been the target of a group of people who have actually tried to taint a debate. Um, and it has left me a little leery. So I want to make sure that we we have some firm guidelines. And, and I know, you know, Diana is, is, is of that mindset as well. So we're hoping to have one. Um, and we're hoping Bill Gouvet would be the one, uh, mm. something that would not be able to be sabotaged. Yeah, Bill would be a good, would be a good person to do that. Um, okay, any other questions for Mike? Oh my goodness, my phone is ringing. I have to put myself on mute for a second. <laughs> Well, no question, Mike, but just I just want to say thank you. I mean, you have really given a lot to this town for a long time, and it makes a big difference. We have, um, I don't know if folks saw this, Massachusetts recently was ranked um, for the second year in a row as having the, the highest uh, advanced placement scores, the highest percentage of kids scoring three or above in the advanced placement test scores. Um, and if you scroll through all that data on the towns, Mansfield has like 87%. Um, it's phenomenal. We do really, really well with our schools. And, and Mike, you served on the school committee for a long, long time. And now on the select board, you know, that's, that's how this stuff happens. That's why this stuff gets done, because people are willing to show up for really, really thankless work uh, and put in the time. So thanks. Well, I, I stayed, to be honest with you, Dave, um, you know, I stayed on the school committee for as long as I did. Um, and I'm kind of of the same mindset that I have now, you know, if I knew there was going to be two Diana Brens running, I'd feel comfortable that I'd be able to step away. I stayed on the school committee for as long as I did because, you know, the people that were thinking were running all came in with an agenda. Um, and, you know, I think what you see with the longevity that we had when I was around on the school committee and, and Frank as well, and that's kind of carried on after I had left where you have people who had been on for many years. And, and you know, that longevity has really, you know, paid off because the schools, I think, were, you know, the Mansfield schools were an okay school system 30 years ago. Mansfield school systems today are the envy of many towns around here. Yeah. Uh, and I, and I think that comes from the stability and that's just not the stability of me. I served, you know, with people who were on for 12 years, 15 years. Um, but you know, th that does help. So, okay. Thank, Annette, you. thank you, Mike. I'm sorry to interrupt. Annette had her hand up. Right. Annette. Yes. Annette. Yes. <laughs> and they're, and they are winning the high school quiz show. That's right. Oh, yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else for Mike right now? Um, okay, Sally? Uh, Jess has had his hand up. I just wanted to recognize who, Jess. Who had, who had his hand up? Hey, Jess. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see you, Jess. Okay, thank you. That's why That's why we have the little <clears throat> yellow thingy hand because I can't see everybody. No hand. problem. Okay. Um, you know, I, I just want to make a comment. Um, I, you know, being the eldest statesman on the select board, I have served 14 years and you know, Mike was exactly right when he talked about collaboration. You know, there are votes where we don't agree on everything. You know, me and Frank might agree and me, you know, whatever. And I think Mike gets it to the fact that, look, it, we can agree to disagree, but we're adults about it. And at the end of the day, when the vote's taken, the board's job is to support the decision of the board. Okay. And I think with Mike's background and experience, he does do that. And it's very important to keep that in mind because, again, you know, we all have different opinions and that's good because that's what a board is. It should be five people, five opinions. And then, you know, we, we take a vote and we move on. And, um, you know, Mike's leadership on the school committee and the board of selectmen has really, you know, he's put a lot of time and effort into the town. And I look forward to him continuing his hard work. So um, I wish Mike all the best. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, elder statesman. Okay, anything else? Anybody else? It's okay. Everybody knows how to meet, reach Mike, and uh, you know he can contact him about signs. And we're going to move on from there. Okay. <laughs>